And why is the Ottoman fleet so, so huge um, at the sort of end of the boot of Italy? That well, is a very good question. 115 ships. That's... Yeah, and 45 of them are, are large ships. Large yeah. Well, how's your ones? fleet, by the way? How really My fleet that? is virtually non-existent. I have 14 <sighs> ships and all of That's them are right. transports uh, because every time I build a ship, I mean fleets, uh, they, you know, kind of, uh, you know, die. You know. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, it's not great. It's not great at all. Um... See, that's the thing, like, um, it, traditionally in Paradox games, uh, you tend to save save me a lot on land because I tend to want to play smaller countries and then I get surprised when bigger countries are much better than my countries. Yeah, you're trying, uh, to, be, you're trying to play small countries because you do, don't like the additional stress of having to manage more things. No, I, I'm fine with the stress. I just think it's boring to play a country like, say, the UK or France or something like that. I, I can think it's fun in certain aspects, but for example, if you're, uh, I, I don't know, it, it's just um, the game is a bit too uninhibited for my liking because as France or as the UK, you're gonna end up, un unless you really limit yourself in your gameplay, you're gonna end up taking over the world pretty much. Uh, and that's not really what I, like to do or you're saying that what? taking over the world is not fun i like a certain bit of uh, undefined realism in the sort of borders of my gameplay or so i, li I like uh, i i think it's dull whenever a game becomes just like when you can sort of say describe a game with okay this would never ever happen in real history Th that's when my line is drawn but it's very vague where that line goes but that's still... Uh, my point is that it's much easier to reach that point with, say, France or the UK or even probably Germany. Though Germany has more of a disadvantage in terms of like going to other continents, I would say. Yeah, probably. Probably. But, I mean, still. 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 That's why I prefer playing, like, ridiculous countries like... Oman. <laughs> or, well, yeah, well, playing I, Oman, that's got to be fun. I wouldn't say... I, I'm not trying to insult the people of Oman, but my point is that it's like a weird choice compared to, well, the sort of standard European great powers. Well, I mean, if you like opium, Oman is a very good choice. I do like... Because look at Muscat. Though. They produce opium. How many well, places no, can yeah. say that? Uh, not that many. Not that many. By the way, where is all that oil in Middle East? I'm still not finding it. I mean, shouldn't yeah. it have been spawned by now? Oil? No oil. Well, where are you, oil? Okay, it's 1917, so the first world war in real history is sort of drawing to a close. Uh, or, well, not really, but... Well, I mean, it will in about a year or so. Yeah, but that's just, like, where we are. No, uh, that's, that's in that, you know, distant... Uh, alternate timeline that does not exist anymore. Yeah, 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 but bleh, you know what I mean. Um, see. But it's going to be... Liberation of Poland. It's going to be interesting as we sort of enter this... Well, you could call it the era of general depression, I suppose, like the 20s. Um, even though I guess it's more towards the later... I, I mean, it doesn't really have any relevance for our file, but still. True. Um... There should be, like, a, a communist happening in Russia, shouldn't there? Well, I mean, something ought to happen soon. I mean, uh, yeah, like the capital is St. Like Petersburg. There's some kind of rebels that are nearby. Reactionaries. Finnish nationalists, I Ooh. think. Uh, I mean, judging from the closest nearby. No, wait, it could be actually be pretty much anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not I'm not sure what the hell it could be. Either well, way, things will happen. Yeah, I, I can see Finnish nationalists and I can see Russian reactionaries. Yeah, so either no either or it could be it could be both maybe. Yeah. Naval directionism. I mean I should get up the navy, so what the hell? Why not focus on some more navy? I think honestly my literacy level has decreased now. It's at ninety nine point seven percent, unfortunately. Oh holy hell. 
like I, I was switching my focus to um, encourage craftsmen in uh, Vasconia, Aragon. You know how many percentages of my people there are craftsmen? No idea. Thirty percent. Thirty percent craftsmen. That's well, freaking insane. So you know, I'm going to focus on some other territory. Thank you very much. I'm trying to expand my fort levels on my northern border because history has proven, and I mean the history that I've played, that I really need that because um, forts are useful when I have like the whole Russian army coming to visit me. Forts are useful, true. And you know that defense plan that we generally stated in like um, uh, sort of earlier um, videos in this series that like, oh, you can halt them in the sort of thin corridor that is Italy or so and then just sort of push them out or so. That has re never really come to pass for different sort of reasons. Um, Almost because you never really tried it. I, tr I tried trying it, but I ended up not being able to try it. Um, I think we did try it last time when uh, I, I, you know, I sent my... Oh, those, those are probably why I have three armies there. Because I sent three armies to block off any Austrians to come into your nation. So, see, uh, some, some things happen. So, my people want acceptable minimum wage. Well... That's acceptable. My, my, I mean, the communists are fairly strong for this reason. None of the other people are very strong, except for the Zanzibar nationalists. For some reason, they have a lot of support. But, you know, I'm going to cave and accept the bull minimum wage. What the hell not? Why the hell not? By the way, how many people do you have leaving your country for other countries? Uh, population... Mm -mm -mm. I can, can I even... How, yeah, how do if, I see that? If you go to the population screen and then you hold over like the millions of people you have in Spain. Okay. Left, left. Um, not a whole lot. 500 or so immigrating to the US. 300 to Colombia. 86 to Brazil, etc. How, how many in total? Uh, 1,000... Well, ranging between 1,500 and... Well, now it's more like 1,200 to 2,000. Yeah. I have like 250 or something. Right now it's 64. Oh, damn. 198 maybe, yeah. So That's basically nothing. Well, I mean, I give them acceptable minimum wage, so they better stay. I mean, my country is pretty freaking great, if I have to say so myself. Oh. Which Ooh, I, I was just about to like... I, I had some reforms to perform, and uh, I was just about to allow slavery again, just because it seemed like a sort of upgrade or so. <laughs> it seemed like a good uh, thing to do. Yeah, I was lucky. For the slaves, at least. I wonder who would become slaves in that case. I don't think you can really enslave a lot of people. Probably the southern Italians. Maybe. Would, would they become the slaves, or would they be the ones liking slaves? What, what are you insinuating? Um, free interpretation. Okay. Damn. Free Look at Mexico. Mexico is getting eaten alive well, I by... Mean, yeah. By, by Imperial USA. Yeah. And I, oh, I do like that Colombia is a thing still. By the way, I noticed that my little spherling, the Egyptian Egyptians, are now attacking Ethiopia to establish a protectorate, effectively ending Ethiopian independence. Also, French Africa, communist French Africa, by the way, oh. is uh, beset by rebels of various kinds. So, you know, considering that things are the way they are, I'm suggesting another war, but uh, apparently we have a truce. And I mean, we just Ooh. got out of war, so what the hell. Iceland exists, oh yeah. Yeah, Chi by Chinese backing. What is this? Montenegro wants passage. Ooh, they are at war with Germany. Germany is at war with, ooh, Russia and... Well, I mean, Russia has no army. Russia is the most yeah. pathetic country to exist in a long time. I mean, just look at them. Conquered by everything. I mean, Ukraine can muster a bigger army than Russia. I mean, Ukraine actually has, from that little territory, they're fielding 100,000 men. <laughs> by the way, their little territory has 1.4 million people in it, which is very impressive. Very impressive. So, you know, if they can take more territory, which I am hoping they are, 
uh, Rovne and other areas of that kind. You know, that would be that would be pretty great. Ooh. Oh, and they did. They just got Rovne. Rovne. Oh, well done. So now their population is eight point, what oh, one point eighty six million. Yeah, I thought so. Um. Hmm. Can I build... How many ships can I build? Proletarian Dictatorship, France. I'm still trying to build battleships, but I have no coal. What? Do I not have a coal? What the hell? Do I not produce any? I do! I produce a lot of coal. What the hell? Why is it not being supplied by my ships? I mean, I'm buying it. So... What's the issue? What's the problem? Question is, what might the next war be? What is our relationship to Germany? You are allied with them. I'm not. Well, I'm allied with I'm, them because I'm cool. I'm still not a um, great power. Yeah, are you tenth place now? Tenth place, yeah. And I have how many points? A twelve. Okay. I mean, your your Nine industry lines. is probably what is keeping you behind. Yeah, I really need to upgrade my industry. That is true. I mean, I'm, I'm living here in, uh, what should I call it, democratic paradise, liberal, democra uh, you know, paradise with uh, Solidaridad Catalana. <laughs> Solidaridad. I mean, I have, uh, I'm getting one over 1,000 each day. I have tariffs at minus 5%. I have half, you know, taxes on all of everyone and still, you know, everything is going smooth as butter. Smooth sailing. Oh. I need to upgrade a bit. Now I got limited access roads. So basically the last tier of technology just unlocked. So everything has been unlocked so far now. Good. All, everything is available. And now immediately they started funding tank factories and airplane, aeroplane factories. Aeroplane. Mm. Unfortunately, electric gear is probably uh, what's keeping everything behind. It is a crying damn shame. Where's electric gear now? Give me electric gear. Someone. I can never find anything in this. God damn it. Electric gear. Why am I not seeing it? There it is. Ooh, automobiles. In high demand. Well, I'll, I'm going to buy up all electric gears. go can you build now the tank factories do you really have automobile factories uh no but i can build them i still uh, build or you know produce a quarter of uh, all the canned food in the world more or less hmm. i mean they, they use a lot of electric gear but for some yeah, reason for some reason, there's no electric gear to you know. be had. Yeah, they, it's not available. Electric gear factory is building now in Granada. So that's good. Uh, I mean, that will be useful. There's one that's doing pretty poor in Leon Castilla. Why? Why is it doing poor? I want to... Uh... <sighs> Come on, there's a crisis all the time. It's almost like in real life. Bohemia and Moravia. I'm guessing that Germany will probably back them. No, oh. not even Germany. No. Portugal. Portuguese communists have broken Portugal. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Uh, no, I have a truce. God. But it's soon over. It's soon over. But not for me. Mm. No, wait. Yeah, for me too. Good. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Uh, so I'm trying desperately to increase increase my um, uh, industry tech, but I'm not entirely sure if it will work or not. It feels like, yeah, I have a long way to go. Yeah, most likely. I mean, you have to upgrade all your factories manually, so... Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to do that, but it's... Um, it's a full-time job. It's like being being a prime minister and factory owner in one. Yeah. Ugh, well, that's that's, that's what you get for being a dirty communist. Yep. 
You just have to suck it up. Oh. Shine my best. Clean the damn electric gear factories are just not selling. How is it possible that they are not selling when it's such a high freaking demand for it? They should be selling like butter. Butter? I mean, everything can be turned into butter. I mean, smooth as butter. Selling like butter. <laughs> yeah. Literacy makes, is... Makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's... Is, how is it jumping between 99.7% and 99.8%? Anyway, I can enact women's suffrage. And, uh, I mean, uh, this is really sexist. I mean, rich vote minus 1%, poor vote plus 5%, in, you know, insinuating that most women are poor. How mean. Ooh. How mean. But I will but enact it anyway. That's your interpretation. It's you who's sexist. It's you. It's your fault. <laughs> everyone, everyone is sexist. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to upgrade all my factories. I mean, they do keep producing while they. I mean, it's not like they close down, right? Yeah. While well, upgrading, I mean. Well, uh, were they upgrading and then went bankrupt, or what are you saying? No, it's not like they're closing down while they're like upgrading or so. I've commenced upgrading. Oh. True, they're just, they just build, you know, building another factory next to it and calling it uh, level 2. An upgrade, yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm, my e economy overall is pretty stumped by the lack of electric gears. And, you know, the electric gears are not producing because of lack of uh, coal, I guess. And why there is a lack of coal, I will never understand, because I'm producing a hell of a lot. Yeah, I mean... the. I like the complexity of the economics in Victoria 2, but sometimes it's too complex for me at least, or I can't really see the logic sometimes, but maybe that's my fault. Probably your fault. 